Hey, what's up everybody? It's Campin' Randy here. Today's uh, episode, well, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, but today's episode, I got the uh, new S VCM controller module. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna disable the, somebody's having fun with their Jake break out there. This is gonna disable the VCM. If you don't know what VCM stands for in the V6 Hondas, it stands for variable cylinder management. And what it's gonna do is it's to help you save fuel but uh, it ends up shutting down to three cylinders while you're driving. I really thought then when we went to the Gen 2 Ridgeline that when they changed the engines over to Earth Dream instead of saying VCM on them, um, that they got rid of it. But uh, I've been talking with some people and the VCM still is there. And especially with the guys who are new to Honda who are getting the uh, 2021s, you know, because they're more truck looking instead of the pilot looking ones that, uh, that I drive. Um, didn't even know about that. So if you do have the VCM, what you'll notice is some shimmying, some weird things, uh, loss of power while you're driving. That's, that's what I noticed. Put some stuff in the comments that you've noticed with your uh, VCM that you've noticed over the years driving your, uh, uh, it's in the pilots, the passports, and uh, the ridge lines. Uh, but anyway, this thing, seriously, plug and play. Um, there is a warning that you will get some error codes. You may get some error codes, but you keep driving and uh, they will reset. So today's video, I'm just going to show you how to plug it in and wire it up. Literally, it plugs right in to the coolant sensor and then you, comes the little wire for power. You run it over to the battery and uh, that's it. Like again, or like blah, blah, blah. Like and subscribe. Make sure you uh, ask questions. Put stuff down in the comments. I'm always here to uh, assist. Also, follow us on Instagram at Camp and Randy. And we'll be selling this on the Ridgeline store. So make sure you stop by RidgelineStore.com to get this puppy. Because uh, what I've heard, it's pretty awesome. I'm really excited to install it. All right, enjoy. So here's how it's going to come in this little bag, just like that. And uh, the instructions are very simple. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the cover and this is also good for Gen 1 uh, vehicles as well. So uh, we'll remove this guy here, pop that off, throw it over here, and then the sensor we're going to connect is that little guy right yonderville here. So I'm going to disconnect that and uh, Take everything out and show you what it looks like, okay? All right, out of the back, this is what it looks like. You're gonna have a male and female plug that plugs in. You're gonna have a fuse in here that you're gonna run over to your battery and connect that. And it comes with four zip ties. Be careful when you take it out of the little bag because uh, you'll drop them in the engine compartment. And you can see right down there that I lost one. So I'll get that one out of there eventually. So. so make sure you do this when the vehicle is completely cold uh, because you have to put your uh, hands up against, well, it actually looks like plastic back there. And the plug itself is in the back. So what you're gonna have to do is get one of your fingers back there in the back and uh, push it and then use your other hand to, you know, pull up this way. Um, and if this is in your way, you can go ahead and take out these two screws, you know, take the grommets out and take this whole assembly out if you need to help get in there. But uh, get a kid to do it probably, or the wife, and uh, somebody with small hands, uh, it's real easy. So that's off of there, so we got that. Now we're gonna take this guy here, pop it on there. There's really nothing to see here because it's just gonna be my hand clip that's it that's on there take the other side of course I can't do this with one hand all right we're pausing all right I got them fed in there and just clip them together that's it take your power line and uh, I'm gonna zip tie it probably right here and then just run it over to uh, my battery terminal here. And I'll hook it up right where, Jimmy, right where I have my uh, lights hooked up. 
okay? What I am gonna do so I can get closer to it is I am gonna take off the uh, air intake and uh, that bolt right there is a 10 millimeter. That's all you need. So I just got that screwed on there. I'll tighten it up here in a second, but like I said, I'm just gonna zip tie it here and then I'm gonna keep this guy away and zip tie it over there. Uh, it does come with an 18 month warranty. And again, uh, if you start the car up and have any error codes, keep driving and from what I understand from the instructions is uh, keep driving, they'll go away. Of course, if you have any issues, you can uh, email them and um, they'll be, get right back to you. Great folks, great guys. But like I said, we are selling this on the Ridgeline store. So, uh, you know, swing by ridgelinestore.com and uh, this will eliminate the VCM shutter loss of power especially for those guys uh towing like i tow a camper um yeah it's a i think it's a great product and we'll do more updates as time goes on all right actually what i did is i just popped this guy out and tucked the wire behind that and then zip tied this stuff so it stays away so let's uh, start the truck up and see if we get any errors and what comes of that. Also, I'm gonna put that cover back on. Also real quick, uh, I know in some of my videos and I've gotten a lot of questions about where to put the negative ground because as you can see, the negative ground for the battery is underneath there. Well, what I've done is I've put this guy here. It's a M6, one millimeter. You can pop that in there. Uh, for your jumper um, Also, here is your negative ground here if you can connect to that that works And then if that's not working you can pop the lid off here And then there's an engine mount right there that you can grab on so those are your three jumper points for your inverters for jumping cars for running your compressors um, That's what I use little addition to this video one cool thing I forgot to mention is that in the case the car starts to overheat, uh, they have a little safety feature built in that it will shut off the controller uh, until your vehicle uh, cools down. So uh, that's that little feature right there I thought was pretty cool to share. All right, we're in the truck. Let's start it up, see what we got. Nothing so far, but uh, if I do get any codes, I'll take some pictures of it and add it to the video or add it to the comments below. All right, guys, that is the install for the S-VCM controller. Um, now available at the Ridgeline store, ridgelinestore.com. Uh, 95 bucks, uh, it takes gets rid of the variable cylinder management. Uh, so if you're towing or don't like the shimmy or anything like that, uh, you can take care of that. Sorry, I shut off the air. But uh, yeah, it's been about five minutes since the install with the vehicle running. Uh, no error codes yet or anything. Again, it comes with an 18 month uh, warranty. Put all your questions down in the comments. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. There's a lot of folks that watch our videos that don't actually sub uh, subscribe. So uh, do everything you can to uh, help us out. We have more videos coming to you very shortly. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching.